everyone, for this video, we're gonna be doing the review of the Pro Series Orb on Guard. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. Hasbro did provide the product for this review, so keep that in mind. If you are wondering at any point, at any point during this video, how did the mad lad get it? From Hasbro. So if anybody asks from Hasbro, just comment. Just do that so people don't have to ask. So with how this Pro Series is, it's kind of just to make amends for like that whole, that whole time where they just forgot the gimmicks and uh, did their own thing, which is fine. But now we have the Pro Series, but the Pro Series is very interesting because only Pro, okay. From what I understand, it's Pro Series layers and tips that are only compatible between each other. So you can only use the Pro Series layer on Pro Series tips. However, you could probably put a Hasbro tip and it would be fine, but you still shouldn't. <laughs> and 200%, don't put a TT driver on uh, the Pro Series. I'm saying that because people think that for some reason, because it has teeth, Oh, you can put TT drivers. Don't, don't do it. It's still modified for the Hasbro thing. So please, I'm begging you. Uh, the discs are interchangeable. So this just come with a disc that like it's getting a proper release, which is Sting. So let's go over right here. So we never did get a proper Sting. The Hypersphere one was a very weird modified uh, disc format, but now we do have a proper Sting. Uh, and this has all the gimmicks and everything. It has the little metal ball gimmick, it has the metal on it, and it's really awesome. Although, very awkward, the li limited customization, which is only compatible with the Pro Series system. But yeah, metal defense shield, it's really cool. This disc is compatible with anything, so at, at the very least, if you want to put it on like an Ace Dragon or a Glyph or whatever bay you want, you can. Disc is interchangeable, just the tip and the layer only Pro Series, from what I understand, from what I understand. Uh, the defense stat is very high. So if you want to know what the true gimmick of Unguard was, slash Aegis, this was not supposed to be plasticky. It was supposed to be a little rubber thing and it was a suction cup and it was one of the coolest things. Now the thing is this, technically speaking, even though it's the Pro Series, the slingshot tip is still automatically better. The suction cup is useless. It doesn't, doesn't, it's not like the suction cup thing was ever good. It was just a stupid gimmick that we all wanted. Uh, I guess technically now we get it. Uh, so just to go over something else, dude, there are stickers on these products. And it's so weird too, because dude, the stickers are like literally from the Chosy Customize, like literally from the Chosy Customize, like I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I'm about to get it. So if you're wondering, I literally have, I literally just grabbed the Chosy Customize set. This is the Chosy Customize set. This is what Orb on Guard is, or in this case, Orb Egg is. You see that? This is what it, how the stuff was originally released for Japanese for Takara Tomi. Look at it, look at it. And now we get the Pro Series of it, eventually. It only took them a couple, of, a couple of years and we're finally here. So we have uh, the instructions. Now something I'm gonna find, okay, first of all, the QR code's on the other side. So something I find hilarious is this part here where it says it evolves from defense to attack over time. Now they're saying, okay, now first of all, why are they saying that? Okay, so I'm gonna say this now for those that are confused. So if you don't know what the gimmick on Quest is, it is a suction cup, right? You launch it and it just, it's a suction cup. But over time, you know, Quest does get worn and it's not a suction copy. So that's why I guess they're saying it evolves from defense to attack, although it's very weird that they put it like that. Like, you could, pro you could probably say that for most drivers that just have like a rubber thing where it's a certain shape and then when it gets worn, it's more aggressive. But uh, no, it, it's still technically a defense type. So. I I don't, I don't know why they're trying to go with that. I guess because it has Sting and they're trying to play it off like that for Orb on Guard, but uh, yeah, that's very weird. Uh, also, on that note, since I already have it out, uh, it does come with a launcher that uh, has QR, the same QR on all of them. I already put on a grip uh, from TT, but uh, it is really cool, this uh, launcher. Really cool. You put a TT grip on it, and also for the instructions if you want to see the other side. Very, very simple. You don't really need the instructions. I'm gonna be honest, you don't need the instructions for this. Just, uh, the disc is interchangeable for Orb on guard and just be careful. But yeah, other than that, it's pretty much good. 
So we have our lair, which is orb on guard. Now, the gimmick on this, which was the original Chozy gimmick, was not only the metal armor, but it did have metal balls that actually do move. While in comparison to the turbo one, very, very limited. You can also clearly tell the differences, ignoring the metal on it. Uh, thank God they did this. In comparison to TT, slight differences. TT is just, a, this is TT, this is Hasbro. A uh, little bit more darker blue on the thing, but like very subtle differences. Yeah, if I flip it right now, you can see the Hasbro one looks pretty close for T. Honestly, this looks pretty much almost the same, though a little bit different. So don't put TT trackers on the Hasbro stuff. That's the last thing I'm going to be asking for. Uh, in comparison to the bottom for Hasbro, yeah, clear differences here. Uh, going over to the next part, which is really excited, is Sting. So Sting is a very solid disc that was released in the GT Lair system. Uh, very, very viable competitively. And they finally did it. They find now I'm all right. They're not doing an outer like they did Sting. That's cool. Uh, there's the Hasbro Sting, which now we can finally do the funny comparison. Uh, yeah, thank God they fixed Sting. Uh, so Sting's gimmick was kind of like this weird little bound thing, like God Valkyrie, basically. It's the same. It's the same as it's. I keep on saying it. You know how weird it is now to say it's the same as TT with Hasbro. Like I'm not used to it. It's a weird vibe. It's a weird vibe. I'm about to grab, uh, just for an example, a uh, TT Sting just to quickly compare. So you can tell because it's a little bit older. Uh, TT Hasbro looks the exact same. Moving over to our driver, which I have to now. Yeah, it feels a little bit different, these, but... Okay, this is the TT, uh, this is the Hasbro, sorry, excuse me, this is the Hasbro Quest, and this is the TT one. I can actually tell the difference between the two now because of how it looks, but yeah, feels the same and everything, got the sharp point. Uh, I could only actually tell because I had the sticker kind of a little bit off there to the side. It was that difficult for me to actually tell which one was Hasbro or TT. Like, I could have legitimately just mixed it up there and I would not have known. Or maybe I just mixed it up right now. I can't, I can't even tell. I can't even tell right now. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. It's actually crazy looking at uh, these ones. So I'm just gonna leave it there for a second. We are now on to the driver, which is Quest, which first off, uh, Pro Series, Slingshock, what a difference. And the, the wackiest thing is this is TT and this is Hasbro. I legitimately could not tell the difference. Like, like Dimension I could tell, Jolt I could tell, and, and like Quest I couldn't tell. The only real way I could have tell, could have told, I, find, to find out was that this one was worn and this one wasn't. So I'm like, oh, okay, the worn one was the one that I used, so it's TT. That is how close they are. It is so scary. I could, that's, <laughs> go, good job Hasbro. You just gave me a headache trying to figure out which one's which. It's so cool. That's awesome, man. I'm happy that it's so close to the original. All right, tips. 5.81, TT, 7.29. Hasbro. Yeah, you see Hasbro. Yeah, I should have just done that, but there is a weight difference still in the drivers, so keep that in mind. Uh, this is going to be difficult. No, never mind. Okay, Unguard is about 9.83. TT Aegis, 18.58. Hasbro is about 70. Yeah, you see, there's always going to be a little gram of difference. Uh, TT Sting. Wow, Hasbro one's a little bit heavier, huh? Well, you always get variations. Sometimes they're heavier, sometimes they aren't. Uh, stock combo ulti... Wait, is this the right one? How much is this one again? I'm holding on to the wrong one. Oh my god, I was holding on to the wrong one. I just assembled it with TT by accident. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can hear the clicks better. With teeth. The TT uh, on guard is about 53.69. And going over now to the other ones, we of course got... Uh, let's get uh, the Slingshock one, which is a total of about 37.47. And finally, to Karatomi, which is about 47.35. Yeah, it makes sense, because uh, don't forget that it does have that disc there, but uh, 
Jesus, this is so, it is so TT accurate. It is mental. Mental, I tell you. So we're gonna be holding up compared to TT. And wow, how close is this? It's scary. It's scary how good this is. So just a quick comparison to the turbo one now. You can just see all the differences right then and there. It is awesome that it's accurate now. And we're gonna try a lot of stuff with it. Okay. We have the stadium set up and uh, we'll get a test launch ready in a second. Just uh, something to show to illustrate the point that I made. Uh, this won't be on the Achilles review because it's sort of just after, but uh, I did do testings <laughs> with all of them uh, on dash drivers. I'm gonna show you where the stress marks are specifically. You can kind of see that you can kind of see it right there inside. Uh, I basically have tried normal drivers. Normal drivers don't do it right away because obviously they don't have as strong a spring. Dash drivers for sure do it. I've tried Dimension Dash, Exceed Dash, I think even Evolution Dash. Uh, all results in the same. Uh, it will ruin it. Uh, Achilles, you can see an example. The parts that are a little bit brighter than the other ones are stress marks from the thing. Uh, for Valkyrie, I gotta see what's the example. For Valkyrie, you can see on the teeth here, where it's a little bit wider than this side, those are stress marks as well. So I'm gonna be probably just saying this once again, but uh, do not put TT drivers on the Hasbro parts, even though they are teeth. Uh, They're kind of like softer teeth, I think it's the best way to put it. Uh, while they are teeth, technically, uh, Hasbro made it softer, so it only, it, I really can't believe it quite literally only works with the Pro Series. Uh, I don't know why it, it's really limiting because now you quite literally just have to get the pro series uh, stuff for this stuff to work other than I guess like the discs because you can't put TT stuff on it and you can't really combine it with Hasbro so it's very limiting I think uh, that's what the stance is right uh, now probably is my stance too uh, anyways we're gonna need to test launch uh, for on guard I still love the this thing of it standing or staying still. Like suction cup is already moving. Probably shouldn't have uh, hard launched, but I, I do love on guard. Uh, that that is the gimmick. Uh, we really are missing out. Uh, thank you, Hasbro. <laughs> I'm uh, of course it's uh, humor right there. I am uh, joking. I guess technically speaking. Uh, the on guard uh, with the quest slingshot is technically the better tip, uh, since it has more use than uh, regular. But let's uh, see Hasbro versus Hasbro. If there were any questions, right? If there were any questions on why this new one is better. Any questions at all? Any questions at all? I I think we just answered it. It, it it's just good. It's just good. Uh, now the thing is this too. Quest was never a viable part. Let's keep that in mind. Cause I know there's gonna be people in the comments saying, but but this, but that. Listen, I know Quest wasn't good at all, but it's just fun to use, and I think there's nothing wrong with saying that. All right, next up, we're gonna get it up against Helios Volcano. I don't know who's gonna win. Be fun to see. I guess the thing does, because I also kind of put in some work. Honestly, yeah, this thing should probably just lose to everything, other than maybe like some exceptions. I I still uh, I still like it for the niche. I still like it for its uh, silly little gimmick uh, from Chizetsu. It, 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 it's cool. It's the suction cup, man. All right, next up is gonna be against TT. All right, let's try it. 
see how it performs. Ah, very nice indeed. Ah. Uh, let's uh, get it again for another round. Kind of weird seeing them both go around the stadium, no? Another round like that, huh? How about that? Let's just keep on going. It's on guard versus on guard. Well, on guard versus Aegis. 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 Should uh, specify that. You know, it's really cool to see them battle, so, you know, I guess there's, uh... <laughs> I, I guess there's that, no? But, uh, definitely tell me in, uh, the comments what are your, uh, thoughts on this. Overall, I'm, uh, I'm kind of enjoying this, uh, quite a bit. Uh, we're gonna do one more, uh, launch with this. Just to get an idea. See how it's doing. All right, something else I actually wanted to show. I'm, I'm actually curious on the level chip thing. I, I, I keep on forgetting this is uh, Chozetsu Bay. I wanna see. We're gonna compare right real quick and we'll do a battle against like Rage or something. And we'll win the one off against the Rage battle. Wanna just compare the three, so we'll first go with uh, TT on a level chip and then we'll do uh, the other ones. So level chips came from Cho Z and Hasbro just never did it, but. Uh... It's on TT. On Hasbro, I'm just curious. I just want to see if it fits like TT or if it fits like Hasbro. Yeah. Fits nice like TT. Hasbro, they always fit in weird. It's, uh... Kind of makes a weird locking sound, too. You're hearing that? So, like, let me let me put it back on uh, the level chip. I might keep the level chip on it now. <laughs> Alright. Uh, for our last battle, I think uh, to properly end off on this, uh... Pro Series Bay. Let's do it up against, we'll, we'll do two bays. We'll do two bays. Let's do Hyperion Burn. And then we will do Rage Longness. I'm sure this will be very entertaining to see. All right, uh, Rage. It's, it's it's very funny to see this. All right, last one, which is going to be Hyperion Burn, and it beat Hyperion Burn. It, it stood still, so I, I I guess that's a victory. The power of quest, <laughs> avoiding self KOs. So overall, what is my thoughts on the Pro Series? Uh, similar to what I was saying, Achilles, if they release more of this stuff, then maybe I could recommend it more. I think really the only good reason I could recommend is maybe Sting. I, I would recommend it if uh, Quest was actually compatible with the Hasbro Bays. Because you can't put the Pro Series, you can't put the Pro Series drivers on the normal Hasbro bays, you can't put TT drivers on the Pro Series, it's... Thank you all for watching, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and I hope you have an awesome and amazing day.